Hello everyone, today we are going to make this ring binder that is uh, 3D printed. Find the link for the print file in the info box below. I am here marking on one of the pieces of paper where to put the holes and uh, you can see it in the ring binder. There is kind of an indent here for uh, these rings. I cut out a few pages on the print file that you also find in the info box below and I am just lining them up here so that I can mark where to uh, drill a little hole in the pages and I'm going to use my Dremel uh, to drill a tiny hole through these pages and I'm just taking my time and doing chible and uh, the result is worth it. After I did that, I'm using some 3 mm jump rings, so they are really tiny. And I'm carefully opening one of these. Um, again, take your time with this. And then I place the pages. I'm using four pages for each binder. And I'm just placing them on one of the rings, as you see me do right here. And then I will close the ring together again after placing the pages. This can be a little tricky, but it's actually possible. Then I open up another ring and I'm going to place that into the pages where there's room for it and closing it up again. This way I have the pages on the rings. You really don't need the pages in the binder. You can do it without the uh, pages in as well and just glue in the rings when we come to that part. But uh, I like it to have a few pages in there. I went ahead and made a few of these so they are ready for some binders. Then I'm going to take my silver paint. This is a silver ink paint. And I'm just dipping my brush a little into the ink and brushing it carefully on this raised area on the binder. It's very easy to see in real life, but I can see it's a little hard to see it here in uh, the video, but uh, there is this raised area in the middle for the silver ink. If you don't have silver ink, you can just use a silver paint instead. Then I have these small eyelets. I'm pretty sure these are one millimeters, but um, otherwise they're 1.5, but it's not bigger than that. And uh, these are a bit too long, so I'm actually cutting off a tiny bit of the length of these because I like it better. And then it's kind of squished together, so I'm trying to open it with my uh, needle tool here. And from the back, I'm going to insert this in this little uh, ring binder so it's sitting really nice, as you can see. Then I have this little splitter, and I'm just... Uh, splitting it open and flattening it out on the inside. So now it looks really nice on both sides. Now you can just fold it together as the ring binder would normally look. Uh, you can fold it uh, open and close it a few times without it going uh, to break. But don't do it like a hundred times then it surely will break for you. But if it's just uh, lying around in the dollhouse, it will work pretty fine. Here is the print sheet that I made for you guys. And the last piece here is a template for making these binders in paper 
or cardstock so you can print them out on some colored paper and just use them like that or you can uh, print them out and use them as a template but right now I'm gonna need this little piece up here for the back side of the binder so I'm just gonna cut them out After I cut them out, I am going to place them on a tiny piece of tape here. I'm actually leaving the tape in my tape dispenser. This way it's easier to work with. So I'm just taking these small ones and just sticking them onto the tape. And now I'm just carefully cutting them out one by one so that I have a tiny bit of an edge of the tape over the side, um, but not much. Then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of a Fabri-Tec glue and just dotting it on here on the spine of the binder. And I am placing this little uh, label here on the back side with the red part up, just like that. And now for the inside of the binder. If you don't want the pieces of paper like I have here, you just take two jump rings and you glue them in place where there is room for them, like you see here. I'm using my super glue gel for gluing in these jump rings, as I find it is uh, the best for gluing these in. And I'm just gonna place the rings in the glue and hold the pages a few seconds until it is really nice and stuck in there and you can open the papers if you want to and then just close the binder. On the print sheet you find these colored pieces here that is actually for dividers and the top is the index for the dividers so you can cut those out and use them as dividers for these uh, ring binders if you want to but that's up to you. That is all for today. I uh, hope you liked this little craft. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.